With plenty of cheap and look-alike smartphones on the market, this Xperia 1 actually looks very attractive and we head for review. The problem with cheap smartphones is that they look all the same. So the advantage of Xperia E1 is that it looks a bit fresh and different. It's not very thin in profile, but it doesn't look bulky either. It's pretty compact. Plastic quality doesn't feel cheap, so you wouldn't say this is a budget smartphone until you activate the screen. In 4 inch diagonal it shows 233 ppi, which isn't bad, but the viewing angles and color reproduction are below the average. You can see the pixels on the screen. The other problem is that the screen is covered with plastic covers, so you don't type as precise as you could over a glass cover. Visibility outdoors with direct sunlight is weak, and there is no automatic brightness sensor built in. Android operating system comes in 4.3 Jelly Bean version with classic Sony upgrade, which we think is good, but lacks intuitivity that Samsung Galaxy Android devices have. It's a little bit slow and got blocked a few times while surfing on the internet. Unto the benchmark shows maximum 15 frames per second on this resolution and you can't run Real Racing 3 for instance. The best thing about this phone is its speaker. It's very loud but the sound quality isn't spectacular. Xperia E1 has only 3 megapixel camera on the back, there is no front camera and there is no LED flash. Camera application starts up after a second or two and the camera interface looks very clean and nice with big icons and it's taken from bigger and more expensive Xperia's. Snapping photos without autofocus is relatively fast. Photo quality is below average. Details are ruined, although photos are sometimes usable. If you want to record videos, you can do it in VGA resolution. Video recording looks terrible if you move the camera just a little bit. In the end, you get GPS navigation via Google Maps that are somewhat usable on the screen size and screen quality. The biggest disadvantage is sometimes slow interface and the screen doesn't really offer very good viewing angles. On the other hand, we mostly liked its design and the way Android looks with these Sony widgets and themes. To find out more about Xperia E1, check our gadget preview blog and also I invite you to subscribe to our channel and see more of our videos.